Good morning, mighty men. Reeves Howells founded the Bible College of Wales in 1924. Today, the college holds to the original vision of reaching every creature for Christ. But God takes ordinary people and does extraordinary things in them and through them. And, and Reeves Howells stands out as one of those kinds of people because he totally ab abandoned his life to God's purposes. So he was a man who, who, who lived what he believed and what he believed uh, affected everything that he lived. He often talked about, about the gained position of intercession. He was at heart an intercessor. And he would talk about learning not just the, the gifts of faith, but the grace of faith. That you can come to a place in prayer and in ministry where you gain a position. Reese Howells in prayer would gain the position of authority and intercession. Because of the price that he paid and the walk that he walked, he saw the most amazing answers. What is it about Rhys Howell that so impacts people? His faithfulness. For me, I just think the faithfulness of this man that he would allow God to use his body. And, and I've, I've travailed in a small way because I've always been a prayer person, but I can't imagine what his body carried when the war was on. And Whether it was the impact on the lives of individuals, reviving the church, salvation of the lost, or changing the course of World War II, Reese Howells saw miraculous things through his sacrifice in prayer and obtaining the gained position of intercession. That's what prayer and revival can do. Our reading today is the eighth chapter of Romans. I'm going to start in verse 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. Verse 23, and not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. Verse 26, likewise the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Let's pray. Lord God, show us how to attain to that gained position of intercession. We know we'll have trying times ahead. Make us strong for the battle. Remind us to keep our eyes on that future glory that will be revealed in us. And, and Lord, we pray that you would show us how to better rely upon your spirit who intercedes for us, that our intercession would be spirit-led and powerful. And with all these crazy things that are happening in the world around us, help us to focus on the fact that you are working it out for our good and for your glory. Fulfill your purpose, Lord, in, in this, for allowing all of these current events that, that these things would draw us, that they would shape us, that they would strengthen us for our warfare. God, we pray that you would wake up the men. In Jesus' name, amen. If you like this video, subscribe, follow, and share it. Shalom.